is Zach Sunderland. I'm gonna be the youngest man to sail around the world. I'm 16 and a half right now, so I hope to be back by I'm 17 still, because actually no one has made it around the world while they're under 18 yet. So that's my main goal, but also to have a big adventure while I'm out there, which will happen. Right now we're currently refitting my boat, preparing it for blue water cruising, single handing, preparing everything for uh, one person to be able to take control pretty much by themselves over a couple of months to see. And so far we've just torn apart. We spent like the first two, three weeks just ripping everything out of the boat, repainted the decks, pulled the mast. You know, we've done so much work on this boat, ran everything back to the uh, cockpit so it's easier for single handing. We got new rigging for the entire boat and ran it. The boat's just a different boat. You know, it's quite bulletproof now. I'm Zach's mom. Uh, he's currently attempting to be the youngest person to sail around the world alone. My mom, uh, she's fine about it. I mean, I'm sure she has her worries. She doesn't really voice them all that much. I mean, she knows I'm uh, capable of doing it, which is uh, really encouraging. I have every confidence that he's capable of doing the trip and making it successfully. He's uniquely qualified just because of his intelligence and his ability to think outside the box and figure things out. That's not to mention all of his experience. Well, I've been uh, around boats all my life. I was brought from uh, when I was born onto a boat when we lived. I've been on boats for nine years of my life. about 15,000 miles. Now I've uh, cruised Mexico with my family. I think this is uh, this going to be a really big adventure, but I think I'm qualified to do it. Um, I've been working with my dad, you know, and I've with a lot. He's a he's a shipwright, so I've learned a lot from that. And I've pretty much I've been working every day of the week on this boat here, so I know this boat inside and out. You know, I've been in every little hole, ripping out stuff and putting stuff back in. So I know everything on this boat. My personal reasons for going on this trip are more to not conquer the ocean. It's just kind of been a goal of mine to get out in the ocean and uh, do something amazing, something memorable. I had the opportunity and the desire to do this and I decided to make it work. Let's uh, get out there, have an adventure and see where it takes me. One of the main things of this trip is I want to be able to share it. And to be able to get the equipment and be able to make this very publicized, I need uh, some sponsorship from people to help me get this thing rolling. In return, I think I'll be able to help them with publicity to sell their product. We've made it perfectly clear that age, we don't care what age he is when he gets back, as long as he gets back, and that he's to put his safety first. Yeah, you know, as it's getting closer and closer for me to leave, the reality is sinking in more and more, you know, it's like, uh, you know, I'm going to be alone a lot more at sea, and there's going to be some uh, big weather and stuff, you know, my first leg's about four weeks, so four weeks alone is a big, big thing, and um, it's getting deeper into uh, closer to hurricane season, so I've got to, you know, be mindful of time and where I'm at at certain times, so, I mean, it's kind of scary in that sense, I mean, I have to have a lot of respect for the ocean, I mean, there's some big storms that happen this time of year, so I mean, just gotta get out there and uh, hopefully everything goes well.